Now that we have adjusted our timing, well, you can tell that the video is very boring without any music. So let's just throw in some music here. I have already selected a piece of music from Motion Elements. Japan Pop Travel. We'll just drag, option drag it in. And we'll just drag it down to the bottom here. Make sure all your sounds are off. You can toggle to see the waveform. One thing I like to do is uh, I try to align the last beat of the video to the logo frame. So let me just bring that up so that I can see the waveform. And I'm going to just drag till I see the last beat here. If you just want to preview the music, you can press, um, if you have a number pad, it will be the dot button beside the zero. Let me just bring that back. This is where I want it to be. Align to here. And now with the music put in, we can go ahead and uh, render. Let's take a look at what we have. Okay, that looks great. Now, let's change the color. As you have noticed, there's actually a color composition here. And if you select the color layer and go to Effects Control, you'll notice that we can actually change the color of this too. And because this is a, actually a nature travel kind of video, let's uh, use something that's green. Is uh, much more nature friendly, I guess. And so let's go back to our motion elements travel. Mm, maybe a bit too. It's looking good. So now let's go ahead and uh, render it out. Uh, rendering means uh, saving out as a movie file. So we can go to Composition. With the composition that you want to render selected, go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And here we have the render settings. When you click on this, you can choose where you want to save the video to. We can keep most of the settings default here and uh, Let's choose lossless with audio. This will actually, uh, by default, After Effects will actually render this out as an animation quick time movie, which is very high quality, but which is very large in size. So you can go ahead and uh, render the high quality settings and then after that you convert it into a lower resolution that's what a normal workflow will be like or you can go ahead and meddle with some of these settings here like format options and uh, you can choose all the different uh, codecs that you want click OK and you can render it out let's take a look at our final product Motion elements. There you go. So there are other advanced stuff that I won't cover as this is just an overview of what you can achieve using an After Effects template. But uh, do feel free to explore the template. 
like uh, you can unshy the layers and see what exactly goes into a particular template and what uh, is being used and for example if you don't like you can just uh, turn off the layer to see what the layer does or even solo it for example this light here we can do adjustment to it by applying effects and using null objects and so on all these advanced features do feel free to google for tutorials online that teaches you how all the other basics of using After Effects and feel free to explore the template and maybe you can learn a trick or two in your next project as well. And that's it for now. Do remember to visit Motion Elements to find inspiration for your next project or just to find templates that you think of using for your next project and to make your video look even greater than it is or to make your workflow much faster than it used to be. And if you wish to uh, try a couple of templates from us to see how they work, you can go to our weekly free elements and you can go down to the After Effects templates. We do have After Effects templates every week that you can try out that are for free. You can download them for one template per day or you can sign up for a free account with us and get 30 free weekly templates. If you run into any problems using our templates, you can contact our friendly customer happiness team for help and we'll be glad to help you out. This is Johnson from Motion Elements. See you next time. Motion Elements.